Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here with Baby Glock and Mrs. Tactical Nut. And we are actually out in uh, Natahala National Forest shooting range. Um, Yay! Actually getting some trigger time in. It's been a little while, so and pretty we, excited. We got the, I forget what it's called, like the, the 22, the... It's a Mossberg. No, that one. Yeah, that's Mossberg. Oh yeah, Mossberg. It's really fun to shoot. Oh, I can yeah. do rapid it's fire. This scope is their first time shooting a semi-automatic 22, so uh, it scared that's pretty me. Good. <laughs> I've got the Springfield I want to shoot a little bit. Got the Mosin. Uh, we're looking to have a good time. All right, so let me get set up, and we'll get back to you. I didn't know you were here with the camera. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and check my target. The first round I was shooting fairly high. It was seriously really high. Maybe without a scope at iron sights. It's kind of the black front post of my sight blends in perfectly with the black part of the target. It's kind of hard to see where, where you're aiming, but go across the fingers. Alright, so when I started off, I was up here. I couldn't tell where they were hitting my binoculars don't zero in so looks like I was starting to bring it back in I'm kind of happy with that like up here getting That's it used to where to where it's hitting for me so yeah I'm starting to bring it in I mean it's not a not a tight group but it's also getting back used to shooting it again since I don't shoot it that often he doesn't because most of the national forest they won't let you shoot really big guns. Well, no, in the National Forest I can. It's the gun ranges and stuff where you can't shoot steel core ammo inside. Oh. So that's why I can only do it when I go I out to the forest. <laughs> and just earlier, just over this hill, so that way, we had a wild turkey walk right through the gun range. Luckily we didn't shoot. This guy was going to check his targets and I was for shooting but there was like this wild turkey and he was just moving so slow and he was just like going up like Doo. so not a very smart bird <laughs> walking through the middle of a gun ring maybe that's why they compare people to turkeys yeah <laughs> All right. so we'll Go see you back
we just saw Tactical Nets um, shoot, so this is mine with the Mossberg. Um, I hit, I think, three in the bullseye, which is really cool. And then we got this target over here. I didn't get on the bullet at all, <laughs> on the bullseye, sorry. So yeah, <laughs> um, I got it all around. That was Mrs. <laughs> Nuts, sorry, allergies. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we just finished up here at the range. Uh, just had a, a ton of fun. Um, as you can see here, shots actually started to improve with the Mosin, 100 yards. Um, once I kind of got settled into shooting it again, uh, found out where it was printing when I was shooting. I'm okay with this, it's pretty good. Nice. So, as you can see, the range emptied out now. There wasn't very many people here, though. They were uh, only here for, like, that one. Yeah, and so, I mean, all really friendly, all really good day. Uh, it was cool to give Baby Glock a chance here to... I'm finally taller than you. ...actually get a chance to shoot a semi-auto 22 with a scope, because she actually never shot a scope rifle. Uh, Mrs. Tactical Nut actually got her first chance at shooting a semi-auto rifle with a scope. And both did excellent, I tell you what, I mean it was a ton of fun. So anytime you get a chance, get your family out shooting. It's a ton of fun. Especially the semi-auto. Oh yeah, especially semi-auto. I, I love the rapid fire part. That pew 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 pew. A lot more fun, huh? Cool. Alright guys, in the meantime, be prepared and have fun. <laughs>